Most often, these visits also accompany with meeting of great eminent thinkers, leaders. So uh, this visit also, PMS uh, had meetings with CEOs, various CEOs, Nobel laureates, and so on. But what I would want to highlight is the fact that even yoga, which was done uh, in the UN uh, campus, had 132 nationalities participating in it. So it drew great attraction. And uh, as a result, uh, taking yoga to a level that has rec got recognition all over the world is a very important aspect that I would uh, highlight. But from the announcements post the visit, I would like to highlight the fact that semiconductor supply chains, Micron technology, for instance, uh, is likely to invest 800 million towards 2.75 billion semiconductor assembly and test facility in Gujarat. And this itself will give more 5,000 to more than 5,000 new, new direct jobs and also 15,000 what we call indirect job, what they call as community level jobs. We are also becoming a part of a alliance of uh, rare earths and materials. And uh, in this, it is expected to support more than 2 billion planned investment. Center for the semiconductor, center for commercialization and innovation, which is being set up in Bangalore, will have in its first five years of operation itself, the center is expected to support more than 2 billion planned investments, 500 new advanced engineering jobs, and potentially another 2,500 jobs in manufacturing ecosystem. Now, this is a very big step forward. Similarly, semi-verse solutions, which will train up to 60,000 Indian youth into artificial intelligence and use of uh, semiconductor-related education and workforce development goals will get fulfilled. <coughs> Critical mineral partnership, which I've already mentioned, um, quite a few of these companies are coming out and wanting to set up these capacities in India because um, lithium and cobalt and the use of these rare earths are going to make the future of energy and energy transition. So that's a second. Space also had great lot of uh, achievements. Uh, advanced uh, training will be provided. NASA will be providing uh, advanced training to ISRO, and that will also help in for a joint effort to the International Space Station in 2024. Advanced telecommunication has also had um, agreement. India and U.S. launched public-private joint task force for the development and deployment of open RAN systems. I'm just giving you the highlights and not going into the details of everything. Quantum and advanced computing has also received a joint Indo-U.S. quantum coordination mechanism. You know it was announced as a part of our budget. And then they will also support joint research in artificial intelligence, quantum, and advanced wireless technologies. And then there is also the arrangement with the National Science Foundation, which is the US body. And it announced that 35 joint research collaborations will also happen. Uh, with the India's Department of Science and Technology, and they have also signed a new cooperative arrangement with the Métis Ministries. Uh, Department of Atomic Energy has also had a share in the agreements, is making 140 million in-kind contribution to the U.S. Department of Energy. And finally, the seventh item is on innovation, uh, and fiber optics investments. India's Sterlite Technologies Limited has invested 100 million in the construction of optical fiber manufacturing units in Colombia, and that will facilitate 100 million, 150 million in annual sports. 
But beyond all this, I'd certainly like to draw your specific attention for directly some very important defense-related, defense production-related announcements. Um, GE, which is the uh, biggest of uh, aeronautics companies, has signed an agreement with HAL for joint production of F414 engines, aircraft engines. Now, this will be made in India. 80% of technology is getting transferred. Now, I highlight this because it is HAL, about which repeatedly the Indian opposition sheds crocodile tears. What's happening to HAL? Bangalore, you're not doing much to it. Please understand, HAL is what is going to have this joint production agreement with the GE. Second, and these Made in India engines will be used for HAL's own Tejas aircraft. You know Tejas is a completely Indian-made aircraft for which the engine now is being the GEF414 engines. Then we are also getting unarmed, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. The Sea Guardian MQ9B is being brought in into India. One of the biggest uh, strength which we can provide to our armed forces. You also have an agreement, master ship repair agreement. India will now become the biggest center for ship repairs. Already the U.S. Navy has concluded an agreement with the Kartupalli, which is very close to Chennai, Larsen and Tubro shipyard, where India will be the center and will be the hub to repair most of the major ships. And Further, they are also trying to sign up with Massagon docks in Mumbai and with also Goa shipyard. So is also three Indian liaison officers who are going to be placed in the U.S. command, and this will be very good in building our mutual capacities, and also emphasize on the defense accelerated ecosystem, Indus X, which was inaugurated on June 21st, 2023. This will be a network of universities, startups, industry, and think tanks. And this will facilitate in joint different technology innovation. There are also several people-centric steps which have been taken. You heard Honorable Prime Minister himself announce that for the H-1B visa extension, Indian citizens do not need to come back to their home country but they can renew it even being there. That will save a lot of effort for our own people, otherwise they keep coming back and waiting to get it renewed. You also heard that there are two new consulates which are getting opened, Bengaluru and Ahmedabad. Fulbright Kalam Climate Fellowship additional uh, facility is also being brought in. 100 additional U.S. undergraduate students will study or intern in India. This is also being people-to-people -people measure. And, uh, and those who are interested in knowing, India is funding the establishment of a Tamil Studies Chair in University of Houston. Aviation deals, which are commercial deals, have also happened just in time before Honorable Prime Minister went to US. So you, you've heard about that. Um, Many other commercial decisions which I'll draw your attention to are Amazon, which will bring 15 billion US dollars and 26 billion uh, in the country to investments to be made here. Uh, you heard Alphabet Sundar Pichai talking about opening a fintech center, global fintech center in Gujarat and uh, indigenization is happening there. So I've just given you some highlights of the visit uh, to the United States. But this minute, I like to highlight the fact that during his visit, which is ongoing in Egypt, our Prime Minister has been awarded the highest award, Order of the Nile, this is one of the oldest in the sense it, it existed in Egypt 
even before Egypt became a republic. During the uh, emperor's rule earlier, also they had this award, but in 1953 this award was uh, restarted under the Republic of Egypt, and it is, uh, it's the highest award being given, and uh, it's a prom proud moment for India. Honorable Prime Minister has received the highest uh, civilian awards from 13 countries together with this award, and of which six of them come from countries which have population which is highest in Islamic Muslim population. Six Muslim dominated population countries, totaling all of them total to 13. Six plus the rest. So total 13 countries have given. And in this visit, I like to highlight a few things which are equally important. Um, Honorable Prime Minister was welcomed by the Prime Minister himself of uh, Egypt. Just one minute, get the papers ready. Um, and other than uh, re being received by the Prime Minister himself, the Grand Mufti of Egypt has also uh, received him and uh, given him all the honors in, in Egypt's history. The Grand Mufti holds a very high uh, and respectable position. He was received by them. Other than that, the Indian Muslim community called the Bohras, they run a very big mosque there. And in that mosque, Honorable Prime Minister was vis uh, invited and taken to visit. And even that has gone down so well, the, the chief of that uh, mosque has also received Prime Minister. This visit is of a Prime Minister of India coming after 26 full years, when the last visit of Honorable Prime Minister from India had happened. So this visit has attained quite a high prominence in Egypt. Other than meeting the Indian community, he had also uh, set up um, an institution of excellence even there. Uh, so I think this visit, visit to Egypt attains great uh, importance. I English in English. Request आ रही है अनिल बनू बलूनी जी से थोड़ा हिंदी में बोलने के लिए आ, सिर्फ मैं इतना कह सकती हूँ कि अब तक मैंने यूएस विजिट के बारे में संक्षिप्त में बोला है क्योंकि इससे पहले मान्य मंत्री स्मृति ईरानी जी भी और हरदीप पुरी जी भी आपको विस्तार से इस विषय में आकर आपसे संबोधित किए मगर मेरे तरफ से ये मैं जानकारी आपको देना चाह रही हूँ कि भारत की प्रधानमंत्री जी का सेकंड जॉइंट सेशन में बात करने का मौका हर बार किसी को मिलता नहीं है अब तक जितने भी लोगों को मिले बहुत कम लोगों को ही ये अपॉर्चुनिटी मिला है और जॉइंट सेशन एड्रेस करने के लिए बाय पार्टिसान इनविटेशन आया है मतलब दोनों रिपब्लिकन्स भी डेमोक्रेट्स भी प्रधानमंत्री जी को इनवाइट किए एड्रेस करने के लिए इस विजिट के दौरान अच्छा सा बहुत सारे टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसफर रिलेटेड विषय भी डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन की टेक्नोलॉजी जो आवश्यकता पड़ती है वो सब का भी पर्टिकुलरली हिंदुस्तान एरोनॉटिक लिमिटेड के साथ जो बेंगलुरु में स्थित गवर्नमेंट के कंपनी है उसके लिए भी टेक्नोलॉजी और इंजन प्रोडक्शन का जो एग्रीमेंट हुआ है वो मैं मानती हूँ बहुत अहम है फिर जॉब क्रिएटिंग विषय में भी एग्रीमेंट्स जो उधर हुआ है उसके कारण इधर टेक्नोलॉजी आना इधर इन्वेस्टमेंट बढ़ाना और गूगल जैसे कंपनी और ज़्यादा कमिट करना कि हम आकर के भारत में पूंजी निवेश ले आएंगे ऐसे करने से हमारी रोजगार बहुत लेवल तक बढ़ाने का संभव संभावना है फिर इजिप्ट के विषय में भी मैं ये बात आपके सामने रखना चाह रही हूं दुनिया में मुस्लिम पॉपुलेशन जहां मेजॉरिटी में है या ज्यादा संख्या में है उनमें से छठवीं स्थान पर है इजिप्ट ऐसे देश में भारत के प्रधानमंत्री को सर्वोच्च 
एक सम्मान मिलना ऑर्डर ऑफ नाइल मिलना ये इसमें एक संदेश मिलता है कि ऐसे देशों में ये प्रॉब्ली सिक्स कंट्री इस्लामिक कंट्री जिसमें पॉपुलेशन ऑफ मुस्लिम ज्यादा है ये ऐसे सिक्स कंट्री से भारत के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी का ये अवार्ड मिलना बहुत ही संतोष का विषय है अब तक तेरह कंट्रीज से इजिप्ट इंक्लूसिव तेरह कंट्रीज से ऐसे हाईएस्ट ऑर्डर माननीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी को मिला हुआ है इसीलिए मैं मानती हूं इजिप्ट के विषय में ग्रैंड मुफ्ती का स्थान बहुत अहम है उन सोसाइटीज में मुफ्ती का स्थान बहुत ही सम्मानजनक माना जाता है ग्रैंड मुफ्ती का भी प्रधानमंत्री सी प्रधानमंत्री जी से भेंट हुआ फिर भारत के बोहरा कम्युनिटी इजिप्ट में बहुत अच्छा संख्या में प्रेजेंट है वो उस कम्युनिटी से भी प्रधानमंत्री जी का मीटिंग हुआ मैं मेरा ओपनिंग स्टेटमेंट में इतना कहकर क्वेश्चंस uh, के लिए छोड़ देती हूँ uh, पार्टी के ओर से हम uh, uh, माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी को बहुत ही uh, क्या हर्ष व्यक्त करते हैं और उनको बधाई भी दे, देना चाहते हैं कि अवार्ड मिला है और भारत के स्थान उनके मेहनत के कारण आज इतना ग्लोबल स्तर पर रिकग्नेशन मिल रहा है उसके लिए